Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing comp comparative entry rules and regulations associated with both Thailand and the Philippines. As we've discussed in other videos, one in particular, the Thailand is still kind of continuing forward with a bit of an antiquated overall set of policies. Meanwhile, other countries in the region are dramatically changing course. And as a Thai, this concerns me because I want to see Thailand's tourism sector thrive. And it, I, I'm concerned by things like a recent article from the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Unpopular Thailand Pass Entry Rules May End. Quoting directly, some neighboring countries are already introducing simplified entry procedures. The Philippines require a pre-flight PCR test, but the government website insists only on, quote, self-monitoring, unquote, for a week after arrival. Thailand is also considering ab abolition of the mandatory COVID insurance of at least $20,000, downgraded from $50,000 last month, although the Philippines still insists on insurance worth at least 35,000 USD. So again, we're starting to see, and I urge folks who are watching this video, go check out that article, a lot of insight there. But again, we're seeing comparatively where other places were not as accommodating as Thailand merely some six months ago. Now the tables are turned. And comparatively speaking, Thailand is a bit of a more difficult jurisdiction to gain access to compared to other tourist destinations here in the region. Hopefully we'll see this turn around. I think it would be a good thing not only because I think it's time that this happens, in fact I think it's well past time, but also in my concerns for the tourism sector here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 